essentially just it's basically a, a communications bridge um, so you bridge the communications from the motor cortex um, past the, the, the point uh, in the necrospine where the nerves are damaged and you should like it is physic it is possible from a physics standpoint to restore full body functionality from a physics standpoint it's a very hard technical problem but it but it is there is nothing that it prevents it happening from a physics standpoint. Fascinating updates coming from Neuralink and Elon Musk. Neuralink is the gadget or the device that essentially helps you bypass a spinal cord injury. So if you injure your spine somewhere and you can't move your legs or you can't move your arms, if it's a high level injury, Neuralink is a device that's implanted in your skull. The device places small microfibers inside your brain next to the neurons, which read the electrical conductivity from the neurons, send it back to a device like a computer and or your phone, which then processes the signal, sends it back via Bluetooth to the robotic arm or the robotic mouse or whatever you're trying to control with your brain, essentially bypassing the injury, the spinal cord severing. The reason I bring this up is because this year the plan is to go mass production. So right now they're in about six or 12 people or 12 individuals based on which reporting you follow. But this year in 2026, they plan to expand that to hundreds of patients. Very interesting times. You could potentially see a complete shift when it comes to spinal cord injuries using Neuralink. What do you guys think? Would you allow a robotic chip to be implanted in your brain from Elon Musk? I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.